What can one say about Lorna Goodison? I think as a writer, one of the things I learn from her, one of the things that inspires me is just how do women translate our experiences, our emotions, the things that are important to us. Um, she captures smell, for example, when she talks about becoming her mother. And just that little thing about her mother's hand always smelling of onions. And when you read it, you think, what does my mother smell like? What is it about my mother in terms of how she nourishes me, how she prepares what I eat, how she takes care of me? And I don't know, outside of the female voice, if that kind of intricacy happens in describing um, feminist experiences. I think the important thing about writing as a woman is if you're representing society, all voices need a space. And she's found a way to ensure that it's a space that doesn't come at men. It's a space that just celebrates women. And I said it to somebody yesterday that you can be feminist and not be anti-man. And when you read Lorna Goodison, it's just about empowering women. It's about um, acknowledging the kinds of input that women have made. And you don't have to be a man to do it. You don't have to try to be a man. Um, when she talks about the relationship between her mother and her father and the way she loves that man. Um, in today's society, people just say, what, what, a woman like this, what she going to take up a man like that for? But just the way she explains the emotion and the passion and the love, um, I think all women understand it at that level. Um, so I think in terms of expressing how women feel, how women see, what women hear, what is important to us is something that I take away from her. And I try as much as possible when I do my own work to understand the importance of being a female writer and giving voice to what is important to women. How do I get people to understand the ways that we think, the ways that we feel emotion, um, the ways that we hate, and the ways that we love? Um, so Lorna Goodison, I think a treasure to Jamaica, um, one of the many writers that I absolutely adore and it's just a pleasure to honor her.